Finally, a medical experiment went underway that could both change and save lives all around the world, and it has to do with the replacing of human kidneys with genetically modified pig kidneys. Our Nixon Norman has more. We often talked about what we were, what was going to happen with our bodies. And not that we were necessarily going to give them to science, but we definitely were pro organ donation. Mm -hmm. So there was no doubt in my mind that that's what he wanted to do. There are almost 600,000 Americans on dialysis who may need a life saving kidney transplant, and 240 of those Americans die every day. And unfortunately, for many in need of a transplant, kidneys can be hard to come by. One way to combat this issue is by using the kidneys of other beings, specifically animals. UAB tried their hand at this solution with Jim Pearson, who, after a freak accident, was announced brain dead. But throughout his life, he was adamant about donating his organs. The study consisted of the transplanting of genetically modified clinical-grade pig kidneys into a brain-dead person, replacing their kidneys. The new kidneys remained viable until the study had ended, 77 hours after the transplant. This discovery could be life-changing for those who are in need of a kidney transplant. And this model, I think moving forward, can be leveraged to study safety and feasibility of all sorts of things designed to improve the human condition, whether it be a medication or a new surgical procedure, things where we can work out some of the logistics and kinks, understanding that that individual is brain dead, so we're not going to harm that individual, but to really get data that we can't garner from animal studies, but that are absolutely critical for us to feel comfortable bringing this into a living human being. And for that, I think we as a society and certainly as a medical community owe a ton of thanks to the Parsons family for being willing to do this. Nixon Norman, Fox 54 News.